Hmm. Maybe if I stand it on its end. Hmm. Oh well. I gotta think about this one. Alright. So it's like 11 o'clock at night. So it's dark. But I haven't really cleaned anything on this yet. So this is how I got it. And uh, so the ways were you know, caked with surface rust, so I just put uh, navel jelly, a few coats, uh, and then brushed it off with copper wool, so they're cleaning up nicely. Still got to clean the uh, lead screw. So, the, uh, I got to put the flashlight in my mouth, but I'm about to work the compound and a cross slide so I had to free those up they were they were rusted up pretty good but see so that moves smooth there we go this does that so so what you're seeing is the remains of the navel jelly. So when I, you know, because after I brushed it off once, I put another coat on there, and you know it dried on there. So I do have one issue with the carriage, and that's right, right there. So something doesn't want to engage or the clutch is slipping or something um, but if I engage the automatic feed and turn the head by hand uh, or the spindle um, it'll move so you know I know I know the gearing or the drive gears are are good um, yeah, keep the camera with the flashlight. I am not a cinematographer. So, but overall it's pretty clean. There's the variable speed, chip tray. Uh, there was a follower rest in here. So, got that. I don't know why there's a set of change gears in here. I don't think they're for this lathe. But, well, you can see the surface rust. That's orange paint back there. But the surface rust here, that's how the ways looked when I started. So, um, you know, I got uh, yep. some more scrub to do. I mean,. You know, I paid $400 for this thing, so I think I'm okay. We got a face plate. Uh, I guess those are just sacrificial pieces. Got some uh, three phase power wire. So I'll. Uh, so this is a three horse motor. So my um, uh, oh, what's going on there? Sorry for the shake. Three horse motor. So my uh, my phase converter will be okay. It's three horse phase converter. So, but I do have to get um, some kind of switch box so I can, well I'd like a switch box so I can switch from the lathe to the mill. Um, otherwise I'll just get a, get a three phase plug and 
come out. I'll just I'll get a three phase plug and just put a cord on each machine and plug and unplug as needed. So, but there's no cleaning on this machine. This is how I got it. So, except for the surface rust on the ways. So, I, I think it did all right. A little sketchy pallet though, getting it home. That thing sagging in the back. I shoved the. Those are my uh, divider two by fours for the back of the Ford. So let's put them in there in case the pallet gave out. At least it'd sit on something before it hit steel. So I did. Alrighty then. So in the uh, in the bottom of that metal lathe were two sets of new looking but surface rusted wood lathe tools so I have those soaking in the rust evaporator along with the four jaw chuck and this thing you know obviously it's rusty but I was looking at the, uh, you know, the edges, the jaws, everything that uh, would show wear, and uh, there is no wear on this thing. It's seen very little use. So, I don't know what that is. It was not a ding. So... Let me go grab my flashlight. So there it is sitting in the, in the rust stuff. And the, uh, let's see. I don't know how well I'm getting the shot. But, you know, this thing is, this thing's pretty clean. So there's what the whole thing looked like when I got it. Here's what it's going to look like. I got a brush. Let's see. Oh, that must have been on the bottom. And uh, was not uh, swimming in the juice. So. Alright, there's that part. Alright, had to go uh, treasure hunting. So these are all thrift store finds. So, it's Paco tank. No dings in it, just a lot of painting experiments gone wrong, so, uh, you know, I use chemical stripper on this, they were sanding it. You, got, you know, a few different, I don't know, I guess primer coats and maybe a, you had a two-tone red and white paint job or something at one time, or, but anyway, somebody's practice tank or something, or unfinished project and so I'm going to strip that down and uh, go from there so I got this airlift table but never had the uh, front clamp so I was going to build a clamp but ended up finding this for ten bucks Thrift store, school. So, I'm gonna go mount this up to it today. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. Put the baby in the garage. Son of a. Wait, I can't put it in the garage because I got stuff to do. And then, crap, one more trip out in the rain. I needed. It broke my seat. Not building you. I needed one of these, so I hit all my normal spots. Nothing. Last place I looked, 
finally. Look at that. Score. And it's old. It's cast aluminum. All the stuff I look for. I do. I think I'm going a new direction here. Hmm. It's nasty looking, but it's coming off. I gotta take it to the garage and uh, Give it a closer to look. Son of a bitch. Of course, I guess that's normal. Alright, gotta make sure I'm getting the shot. So, here's what I'm thinking on the exhaust. However, I did the calculations and uh, that one's too small. I got a restriction. So, that's two inch pipe, two one and three quarter pipes will not fit into that without obstruction uh, or you know obstruction of the flow so I uh, need uh, three inches at least so I don't think that's worth you know gutting and cutting and all that I mean you know this will clean up this just stainless but uh, I think it's that would look cool. I'll try not to die. Something like that. But regardless, this particular muffler won't work. Mm. I'm gonna figure that too. Just bikes in the way everywhere. Yeah, it would look cool, but I don't know. Maybe I'll see what's on the Ebus. The Ebus and the Cur, at least. So maybe somebody's got a three-inch off of you know Busa or some, you know what. Because everybody's got those. But anyway, I'm uh, messing around with this again. Here's the uh, $10 wheel chock from the thrift store. In place. Done. Alright, Dean. Found it in the road. You know, maybe it's not dead yet. Now I'm thinking, you know, they, they put four... I don't know if that's one and a quarter. They fed four tubes into one. That's, uh, yeah, one and a quarter. And I mean, that is a racing header, so they had to think about flow. So I don't know. I might look a little closer at that. Because You know, obviously it's downpipe, that's just left over, but it would feed down somewhere near that, I guess. You know, probably hack that off right there or something. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go look that up, research it some more. Maybe that'd be okay. Yeah, damn it. So, I guess I get to... Uh, practice my dent pulling stripping the paint off of this Paco tank and fell off the damn bench son of a anyway okay so here's what happened so I did this real cool video on TIG welding uh, steel rod 
to this tank and then using a the slide hammer to pop it out. And let me get my props here for the, for the movie. So I would TIG weld, TIG weld this wire onto the surface of it and then hook the slide hammer in here and just kept popping it out kept popping it out and then move the wire and pop it out you know went around like that and got it you know pretty damn smooth and uh, I thought I was in the uh, one frame per second mode you know so it'd be fast forwarded and wouldn't have to deal with the music that was playing and all that well all that music was playing it's uh you know like 45 minutes of editing so i gotta come out here and do like a before and after thing so i didn't want to go through all that editing but as you can see the, the dents out i just gotta do a little more smoothing because of the weld uh, you know, from from welding that wire on, so and then I'll finish stripping the rest of that paint. But oh man, I was all happy because I found an unblemished, you know, peanut tank, and and uh, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do something with that when I get it cleaned up. No, uh, -uh gravity and life. Okay, those are two things that kill you if you're a man gravity in life um, but anyway so it it smoothed back out I just got some file work to do and then I'll finish stripping that and uh, probably just uh, you know prime it and kick it around and yell at it for a while because it'd be in the way and then I'll then I'll sell it so I've already cleaned the inside out so you know it'd be a pretty nice tank by then Anyway, yeah, that one's up for sale. Because, uh, well, you saw it. You watched the video, for God's sake. Uh, yeah, no dents on this tank. Let's knock it off of that table. And, uh, you know, we can't have that. We like the organic look, right? Oh, well, anyway.